Okay, so when you're done with the possible themes sheet, what you're going to do is you're going to proceed to the mind mapping. So if you go back to the class stream in Classroom, you're going to see an activity number five, and um, that one's going to be called Mind Mapping. And there will be a video that you're watching, and then there's going to be a link to Bubbles. Okay, which is a mind mapping tool. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on the link. It will take you to Bubbles. And the first thing you're going to do is you are going to sign in with Google. Okay, so there's a sign in button that's really tempting. There's a start brainstorming button that's really tempting. But the first thing you're going to do is sign in via Google. Okay, now what you may see, um, is you may see something that looks like it's asking you for permission. So Bubbles would like to know who you are on Google and view your email address. You're gonna go ahead and click the button that says allow. Okay, and I'll show you, um, hopefully I'll be able to put a screenshot in here. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna see a flash screen. And what you wanna do is you're going to say allow. Okay, again, for Flash to um, allow Bubbles to store information on your computer. So you're going to say allow twice. And now you can get started. So this screen you might see it either starts with a blank um, or you have right up front some kind of choices that you can make. You're going to go ahead and start brainstorming. Okay, so you're going to start with a workspace with one Bubbles in the middle. Okay, now if you're like me and you can or cannot be, doesn't matter to me. Uh, there's like um, kind of like a file set up over here. If you want to use all the space on the screen, just go ahead and use full screen up there in the top right corner. It's just above save and you're gonna have the whole screen to work from. So now it says, here's a clue, start here. Okay, so you click inside, you have to highlight the words and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the title of your favorite theme for your app. So I'm, mine is gonna be the license plate game. When I'm done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click outside of the bubble and look, it looks like it's great. Now, if I hover my mouse over it, I'm going to get some options. I'm going to get to change the color. Okay. And you know, my color is pink. So there it is. If I hover again, I'm going to change the size. This one is the main, um, you know, like my title bubble. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then the other thing you could do, okay, if you're like, I really don't like this, you're gonna, you could delete it, but we're gonna save that for later. You could also click away, okay? And then, whoops, click away, and then just on the edge, you can click, hold, and drag, and move this license plate game title somewhere else. I like working from here. I don't really like working from the center, but that's not a big deal because you can change that. Now, what you're gonna notice is that each bubble, or this bubble, has two places two places where you can sprout new bubbles. So a new child bubble is like a subcategory. So if I click on the child bubble, you'll see I get one right below it. And this is where I'm going to say maybe thinking about the different main pages of my mobile app. Okay, so for this one, it'll be about because I want to talk a little bit about the game or about the app, like how I came up with it. Okay, so maybe I would say here um, about um, why I wanted to create this app okay and um maybe we'll just leave it at that okay maybe eh, all right so i made a new notice the color changes as you go down now this one i don't want okay so i know that there was a delete somewhere but i'm gonna have to click away hover and then I can delete that bubble. Okay, so I have an about and then a why. So we'll leave it for that, like that for now. Now, what I want is I would like another bubble, kind of like another sub. So this would be like the game. Okay, so I'm gonna make another sub, new child, and these are called child, sub bubbles are child bubbles. And I'm gonna call that um, the game, license plate game. Okay, actual game. This is where we're gonna keep track or we're gonna call it license plate tracker okay because it's really hard to keep track of that stuff okay and then I was thinking too that maybe I would add so I'm gonna click away to say that I'm done and maybe I'll add something another section for like license plate history you know because some license plates have changed over the years and like some states have multiple license plates right now okay and then I was thinking also I'm gonna click away and then I'm gonna add something new maybe whoops 
Where'd that one go? Oh, that one's going down because it must think I'm in the middle or something. Okay, and I'm gonna just put this over here. Just I'm just dragging it. Um, I'm gonna call this um, state facts in case you wanna learn anything about the 50 states. I'm gonna have that there. Okay, so now we have you know, very basic mind map here. If I felt like it, oh, you know, maybe I do need some stuff in the center, it will move, uh, but it won't move the one that kind of was moved on its own. So that's a little bit tricky too. I think, oh, got it. Notice what I did there. The first time I moved, I moved based on my main idea. Okay, the second time I moved, I just clicked in a blank spot move the whole thing so this is some place that you might want to start you might also want to have some details okay um, you might I might take these state facts and break it out and say into regions right so then I have this region I have regions um, no I don't think I like that I'm gonna click away hover and delete okay but maybe regions I don't know what else, tourism, okay. Uh, license plate tracker, maybe another travel game, other travel games, fun travel games. I don't know. Okay, you can't really play the license plate game when you're flying, but you know, that's a possibility. So there's a start for my license plate game mind map. Oh, and notice too, here's a save. You can save it, it also saves for you automatically. Okay, so have fun with that.